Hi, I'm Carl Haro von uh, with Biology Fortified, and I, with me here is Anthony Evan, Evans from the Glowing Plant Project. Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for thanks for talking to me. So uh, you made quite a splash a while ago on Kickstarter, and you made a lot of progress since then. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about your glowing plants. Uh, so what gave you the idea to 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 start this this uh, glowing plant project? Yeah. So the original idea came from a colleague of mine, Omri Drury. Um, and he just was very, very passionate about this idea and mm -hmm. really wanted to make it and, and went around recruiting a few people to get involved with the project mm -hmm. and, and I'd been looking for something fun to get involved with, mm -hmm. so synthetic biology as a, as a way to sort of get involved with the field really and a way to use the sort of business marketing skills that I'd been developing. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so Omri approached me and, at, a, at a conference and we started talking about it and it just seemed something very, very cool and very, very fun and, and, and something that potentially could have a big impact on the world as well. Um, and so we started brainstorming and we came up with the idea of doing a Kickstarter campaign to raise the money for it. And we did that and, and the campaign went great. Um, we raised just under half a million dollars from 8,433 amazing backers. Yeah, and you, you were hoping for a, a lot less than that just to get the project started. That yes, yeah, we were looking for 65K initially as, a, as our target. So we went over it by about seven times, which was a fantastic response. I think, I think one of the most interesting things we showed there is that there are people who like this technology. You know, if uh -huh. you read the press, you'd sort of get this view out there that the public is anti-GMO and that mm -hmm. they don't want these types of genetically engineered products out there. And we very, very clearly showed that there are lots of people who do want this stuff. And I think that's a really important voice in this, that, yeah. that many times those people who are, who are excited about it, who understand the science and who realize the potential of this kind of technology, their voices get drowned out in the debate. We've had a lot of comments from activist groups and things like that mm -hmm. um, around the Kickstarter. I think, I think in retrospect, it would be more more fun to do the research without having to deal with that pressure mm -hmm. at the same time. But on the flip side, it's been really, really valuable thinking through all the implications of what we're doing as we develop the product um, yeah. in, in parallel. Um, and, and so I think, I think that kind of early transparency on a project that we got through the Kickstarter campaign was really, really useful. And I think maybe other, other products could benefit from that as yeah. well. You know, starting the engagement process early, I think, mm -hmm. is a really useful thing to do. Tell us about your progress on making plants that glow in the dark. Yeah, so you know, from a technical perspective, the toughest thing that we've we've had to deal with has been the assembly of these constructs. Mm -hmm. So you know that we need six genes uh, mm -hmm. to make the plant glow. And we take those six genes from a marine bacteria called Vibrio fischeri. Uh, now, as I'm sure you know, and and, and probably many of the the, the viewers of you of, of your uh, channel know that um, in order to get expression of a gene in a plant, every different gene needs to be linked to its own promoter and terminator, and mm -hmm. potentially some other things in there like some yes. cellular targeting. And, yeah, but yeah, you can get so as complicated as you like, really. Yeah, you, I mean, you've got you've got the you've got the the message in the gene, and you need to be able to turn it on, and you need to right. tell the cell, well, stop reading the message after this point, right. and and you got to get all these genes working together. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And and so that's the big technical challenge. So we now have a very neat system that allows us to take take our genes and and combinatorially assemble many many different types of mm -hmm. of output, and then test those in the plant. Um, and and find and it was only a couple of weeks ago. Out of all that process, we finally got a construct that we think uh, will perform reasonably reasonably well in mm -hmm. the, in the plant. Um, and so we just just the last couple of weeks started moving to the to the final phase of the development, which is actually doing the stable transformations. We obviously haven't put that in a plant yet, so we don't know how bright it's going to be. Um, I think I think at this stage, it's not you know version one is not going to be. Uh, strongly luminescent, you're certainly not going to be able to read from it or anything like that, but you, you should be able to <laughs> yeah. see it in a, in a dark room. Mm -hmm. um, and no, and you, you have to seal up the windows with a You need a dark room, really you need a really dark room really dark right room, now. Yeah. Um, people should expect that version one is, is dimly glowing, you know, mm -hmm. on, the, on the comparative, I would say something like glow in the dark paint. Um, mm -hmm. If you ever had those stars on your ceiling oh, yeah. as a kid, I think mm -hmm. you know you and I are about the same age, and, and that, <laughs> that was that was something that we grew up with. I, th I think that's what version one will, will be like. And and the glowing plant is very very tangible. Mm -hmm. You know, when when we 
you know, think about molecular biology and stuff. To most people, that's some abstract thing. They don't really mm -hmm. touch those products. Yeah. You know, the f we're very, very divorced from our food supply mm -hmm. infrastructure these days. You know, not many people work in agriculture. Three percent of the population, or something. Yeah. Um, and 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 I think that the the glowing plant really has a potential to bring this technology to people. Um, you know, a child that grows up with a glowing plant in his bedroom isn't going to have this very distant relationship with it. He's going to have a real tangible connection to the plant. Yeah. He'll have watered it, he'll have cared for it, he'll, he'll really have a close relationship with it. And I think that's an important part of this debate. And, and, and we also do these kits as well. Yeah. So I think one of the most interesting things that we did with the, with the crowdfunding campaign mm -hmm. was this maker kit, which allows people to do genetic engineering at home or in a school lab or in a do-it-yourself biology lab. Um, and, and that as well demystifies the science. What we really hope to do with that kit is, is show that this isn't some scary technology, that mm. this is something that can be done for everybody. You know, I, I really believe philosophically that the more powerful a technology is, the more important it is for it to become democratized, for it to become something that is available to everybody. Um, and we see again and again with powerful technologies that if they're only available to large corporations or governments, mm -hmm. that there is potential for abuse there. Yeah. But if you make something available to everybody, if you really open the floodgates to make this a thing that is owned by the whole world population and that the benefits mm -hmm. should accrue to everyone, then there's a very different perspective that can come from it. And that, yeah. that democratization of biotechnology, I think, is a, is a key driver and a key philosophy for what we're doing. So where can people go to find out more information? Um, check us out at www.glowingplant.com. Okay, great. And you're on Twitter as well, right? We're on Twitter and, and Facebook as well. So we have a facebook.com slash glowingplant is a great way to get involved. You can comment, chat, um, talk with other backers, and, and follow the updates there. Or, or our, our glowing plant on Twitter as well. <laughs>